You know, a lot of women will correctly note that men are being insecure if they have some preference on whether their woman should be hanging out with her ex-boyfriend or disappearing for days on end. But fortunately, male insecurity is a learned behavior that can be eradicated, and I can teach you how to work through the male insecurity pyramid to reach maximum security in your relationship, your masculinity, and sexuality. We start by working through some of the irrational insecurities a man might have about her going to the club every night, hanging out with her ex-boyfriends, or very frequent late friend dates with one specific co-worker. Then we continue to shed the insecurity insecurities you might have about her going on multiple Miami trips where she doesn't text you for a week, or spending the night at a male friend's house that you haven't met. And we finally reach peak male enlightened security, where you are completely secure with her having penetrative sex with another man while you watch. I am personally so secure that I will not only film the session, I will pay the man for his time. Using my methods, I've recently unlocked a new level of security I didn't even know existed, where my wife currently lives with another man two streets over while I pay the rent. And once or twice a week, she comes back over when she needs money, even though she now has a moderately successful OnlyFans that he runs. Using my methods, I am now so secure in my heterosexuality that I am able to have homosexual sex with another man knowing that I am a straight man in a relationship with a woman, and you can too. Sometimes my levels of security are so high that when I can't afford to get the man I just slept with an Uber home because my wife maxed out my credit card, he'll just stay the night, we'll cuddle, and I'll make him breakfast in the morning. As your security in your relationship blossoms, so will your security in your masculinity. The other day I was running errands for my wife, picking up a box of condoms for her and Doug, and whereas normally I would be insecure about how I appear in public, I was able to wear a full-on women's blouse with matching high heels as I walked around the city doing her errands crying. Another thing that I'm now secure in doing. My security levels are so high that there's been times where me and the man I'm sleeping with will go to a restaurant, sit two tables over from my wife and Doug. She holds the menu up, covering her face, ignoring me to the point where she doesn't even realize I'm wearing her Ugg boots and skirt. I put up my hand, call the waiter over, tell him I want to pick up both their tabs on this new credit card I just started since she maxed out my old one, but don't tell them till after we leave because I don't want her to be interrupted. The pinnacle of a man secure in his relationship, masculinity, and sexuality. As a secure man, I have eradicated every single toxic preference that I once had and you you can too. Are you secure enough to raise another man's child? Because I am, if they choose to let me see him.